Hi Aries, welcome to this reading. I hope that you're doing well today. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands in reverse, so we've got Sagittarius energy, Six of Coins reverse, the Empress, Taurus, Libra, and we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, you guys are sitting here as the Empress, man or woman, on your throne, and you're not interested. You are not interested in games. how can I phrase it? Um, one night stands, you know, that sort of thing, or any kind of passion without, you know, something more substantial. And you're not, you're not, not only are you not interested, but you're not putting up with being an option or having a bit of time here, a bit of time there from someone. You're looking at the least, the very least for a king of pentacles. Really, to be honest, your equal would be the emperor, but you're saying this is this is the bare minimum that I'm going to put up with from this person that I have in mind. They've got to show up as a stable, committed partner. You know, I, I have to be the only person that they're committing to here. And this, this, it just feels like fact. This is how it is. There's no stress. There's no drama. You're not worried. You're not confused. You know that you're, <laughs> you know what you deserve. You know you're sitting here as the empress. And I don't see you chasing. There may have been behaviour like that in the past. You know, you may have been worried you were going to lose this person, that you had to prove something. But you absolutely see now that that's not the case. You know, lesson learnt. Um, you know your worth. Okay, so four of pentacles. This person could be holding back. Strength, they're definitely holding back. Leo energy here. We'll have a look and see what. I mean, I'm guessing it's their feelings. It usually is. Five of coins and the hermit in reverse. So, hmm. Even if you were the ones, if this person moved on from you and they put you out in the cold that's interesting um it, it you somehow flipped it around and you flipped it back on them so it's like they're now in the cold they're trying to um get back in your good books we have look what slipped out we've got the six of swords to the five of swords this person if they try to move on they seriously downgraded um they moved into a situation that was dramatic unpleasant filled with arguments if this isn't you know if they didn't move into a situation with someone else that was stressful they've just been thinking about you non-stop and you know they thought okay if i move forward if i move on i will move away from potential stress of this connection um didn't work we have the ace of pentacles and that's that you know i just feel that that's all you're going to accept at this point you want something tangible whatever that looks like and you're not you know you're not out here in the cold missing you know your person that, to the point where you're going to be banging on the window begging to be let back in maybe you do miss them but because you are on your throne as the empress you know your worth you're not chasing and i feel that your person whether they're showing it or not actually feels like they're out in the cold you know they pushed you away or they walked away and now they want to come back and um, I, I feel that you're waiting for this person to approach you with the hermit in the reverse. If they need time, you're respecting that. If they've got things they need to sort out, you're letting them do that. Um, but it's almost like, OK, well, when you finished with that here, you know where I am. You know how to find me. OK. We have the king of wands. Exactly. What you saw from this person in the past was a lot of lust passion attraction um let's have a look what were they holding back tell us about the four of coins please yeah look okay with the page of cups so this person even found it difficult to to sort of give you the tiniest expression of emotion or if they did give you any expression of their feelings it was very small um it, lots and lots of passion king of wands a tiny bit of emotion the king of wands some, sometimes can be a bit overbearing so if they've ever done anything that you know um, crossed some boundaries and they apologize you might have felt like they didn't truly care or they didn't really understand why they'd upset you or pushed whatever it was too far but this person's holding back communication now they want to send you a message let's see what they want to say oh 
you cannot make this up. Look, the Empress in reverse. They want to say they know, they do understand how they treated you in the past. Um, and the fact that they did breadcrumb or didn't make you a priority. You know, they have a list of 75 things to do. They made sure that you felt like you were the 75th thing, you know, no good. And, uh, and they know this. They might want to apologise for this treatment. They understand that there was a lot of potential here that was sort of ruined because they were being deceptive in one way or another, wearing a mask. So I'm seeing that in the next three months, your person is thinking a lot about you, understanding that they need to come forward and be authentic. This is what they're wanting to do. Um, I wonder, will they do it? Let's see. Tell us about strength. Is this person going to come forward? Are they going to show up differently? I'm just seeing you. You're not lifting a finger. And it's not because you're being arrogant or anything like that. But both of you, you and your person, know that you, you did deserve to be treated better. So we have the three of wands in reverse. That could talk about um, a blockage, a delay, maybe your person not believing in themselves. Let's see. The hanged man in reverse. Ten of pentacles in reverse. And seven of wands in reverse. So they've got to stop resisting. If you're blocked, they've got to unblock you. If um, they're blocked, they might be waiting for you to unblock them. Um... Also, look at this, it's very interesting. You see in this three of um, wands, it's almost like he's pointing at this tiny tower. So your person's got to make some sort of change, even if it's not a humongous tower moment. They have got to make a change in order to come towards you. And that's probably linked to this ten of pentacles in the reverse. So something that looks like it's, it's on its way out anyway. Tell me about the Empress, please. King of Swords, see, you guys are not playing. The King of Swords is great because he's um, very smart, switched on, intelligent, he's honest, he's definitely, you can believe he means what he says, and if he says he's going to do something, he's going to do it. Um, but he's not going to mess about, and he's only reached this place of clarity, wisdom, enlightenment, because he's been through so much, and you have been through a lot with this person. You know, and they didn't make you feel like an empress. You had to make your fe yourself feel that way. So you're strong. And that's why, you know, you're not chasing anybody. And that's why this person's going to have to um, come forward in the proper way. No lies, manipulation, nonsense, game playing, immaturity. So, um, yeah, you're willing to speak. You're more than happy to speak. The king of swords, the king of communication, of course. But it's not going to be silly communication. We have the yeah, we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. See how it's overlapping. If there's been a period of separation or very minimal contact and communication, both of you are on the same page. You found your ways there through different routes, but you're on the same page. You both know what's okay, what's not okay, and what needs to change. So I feel like, you know, so far in this experience with your person, one of the things you've really found is, um, or one of the things you've, you've focused on are your boundaries. And um, maybe you've been working on self-worth, any sort of, you know, wounds that you've been carrying with you. Um, your person has had to work on maturity, dropping their ego, um, you know, listening to their inner voice. Who are they really? Um, what's in alignment with them, what isn't. And also realising that relationships don't have to look a certain way. Um, money, you know, the home, work, obviously all those things are important, but emotions, love, happiness are of equal importance. So maybe readdressing the balance that, that you know, they were... Or the balance in their lives of emotions, their headspace, heart space, you know, uh, work, home, whatever. Um, but there was definitely an imbalance. I think your person's been stretching themselves too thin. Okay, and we have the page of swords in the reverse. So I feel that when your person comes forward to speak, you're going to let them know. You need to know um, 
you need answers to the things that are kind of up in the air or confusing you don't want to be wondering you don't want uncertainties or assumptions you, you know you need to be really clear about certain things and you're going to want them to ask you anything um, that they're not clear about because there's no room for miscommunication is what i'm feeling okay king of pentacles with the hermit please eight of cups yeah this person pulled away and they've been quiet and you know what you didn't chase them you've said okay obviously you've got stuff to do to work out that's fine you know you can walk away but i'm not going to go running after you we have the magician in the reverse so you see the magician reversed is um a trickster someone who is pretending that they're strong empowered capable they can manifest what they want but they don't really believe it deep down and we have the seven of cups another card of illusion um even distracting themselves you know maybe your person was deliberately keeping themselves busy distracted to prevent having to go through some kind of uh, an awakening a realization preventing themselves from having time to do the inner work so let's see, we know um, both of you have grown, they're wanting to talk to you, you're saying I'm open to talking, I'm not chasing you though, and if we are going to talk, we have to talk like adults. So are they going to come forward within the next three months? For some of you, it's going to be the next three days. Ten of Swords reversed. Oh, Chariot, nice Cancer energy, but but you know pushing forward. And the Three of Swords. I did see that when I was shuffling. We have Taurus, the Hierophant on the back. So, okay. For some of you, this is a yes, but there's a but. The but is there's a lot of pain. It's like your person is persevering pushing forward coming towards you they're looking strong they're still very busy but they've got a good handle on what they're doing but they're carrying so much pain with them you know it's either side pain from the past a wound that just won't close fresh pain so let's see what this is judgment in reverse so there's something here they've got to make a decision decision about they've got to either say okay i'm having a rebirth or i'm letting this go this could be something entirely random or it could be connected to you if it's you they're coming forward and they're anxious are you going to turn them away are you going to want a new beginning here if it's not you it could be a job it could be a family situation um but something they've got to make a decision about Three of Swords, please. Ace of Pentacles. And this came out too. Four of Cups. For a lot of you, I'm feeling that your person is very worried, very anxious about coming forward and finding out if if you're interested. The Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. They're worried you might say to them, no, I, I'm not doing this again. I'm not going around... Um, you know repeating another cycle with you i've jumped off of the wheel the wheel can turn but i won't you know i'm not sitting on it i won't be there um so yeah coming forward looking strong presenting themselves as being very confident but very very worried very nervous they know exactly what you're looking for something serious something stable something practical tangible but also heart-based you need emotion as well um but is it too late is what they're worried about here So as much as they're coming forward looking strong, they do understand that really it's like the ball is in your court, um, actually. So I feel like for most of you, it's going to be a yes in terms of hearing from your person within the next three months. Like I said, for a lot of you, or I shouldn't say a lot, for some of you, I'm seeing three days. Um, yeah, but either way, you know, I, I just don't, don't see you moving a muscle here. Because you did so much work in the past and um, yeah look what it got you at best tiny bits of attention here and there um, and during the worst times absolutely no attention or 
responses to messages, that sort of thing at all. So you're, you're just not willing to repeat that. Okay, so let's move on to new love. Okay, so Spirit, can you please show us what is coming through in the next three months, next three months, <laughs> for my viewers who are interested in new love. So this can be um, if you have no one in mind, so you're just wanting to see who's coming towards you or who's an option, or if you do have someone you're interested in or dealing with, but you're kind of wondering, maybe I should just open up to other options. So let's have a look. New love, please. Oh my goodness. Nice. Two of cups. That's incredible. Okay, so a couple of things. We have soulmate energy here. This could actually be someone you already know, but you, you have a friendship. You haven't moved into anything romantic. Um, but this is building a connection up you know, building from the ground up, being on the same page, there's reciprocity, equal give and take, it's very sweet, it's making me actually think of the six of cups, so definite soulmate energy, possibly someone you knew in the past, again, like as a friend, that sort of thing, um, maybe in a, you knew in a past life as well. Five of wands, I'm seeing many admirers actually, but of course this person in the, in the two of cups is really standing out as a strong uh, competitor <laughs> for your affection and attention six of cups and six of cups six of pentacles in reverse so this is the thing it's like you might have a vague awareness somewhere in your peripheral vision that you have lots of attention lots of eyes on you but you're not interested you have no desire to uh humor this person that person that person, person over there you're interested in this um real opportunity here with this two of cups so if you're manifesting someone, keep going. It looks like you're manifesting someone who really is ideal for, for you. Oh, wow. And we have the Hierophant, um, Taurus, but this is commitment. Gosh. So this could be someone who is maybe spiritual. They could be traditional. Someone who share similar beliefs and values but the, both of you have the same vision the same goal so if you're looking for commitment this person also feels the same you know whatever the level is of commitment that you're looking for right now all the way through to to some sort of commitment to the be all and end all you are on the same page as this person and this in the middle feels like noise that you're not interested in um yeah okay else please so the next three months in love for my viewers yeah the page of pentacles this is what i mean this person and, and this connection it takes off gently it's slowly a page of pentacles it's very small um it's small energy uh but it's not lacking it's it's a nice gentle pace that both of you appreciate and look what's on the back six of cups in reverse which is what i was trying to say when the six of pentacles in reverse came out this could be someone you knew in childhood or you've known since childhood and um maybe you know you've never really thought of each other romantically but your feelings are starting to change or maybe they've always had feelings and they're only now beginning to express them but it all feels very gentle very peaceful very genuine I'm, I'm feeling lots of open heart energy here vulnerability trust so maybe, you know, this could start with just getting a coffee together or um, exchanging messages or, you know, something small. So so don't dismiss it. Trust your feelings. If you have something like this that starts up in the next three months or it has started for you, um, roll with it because it has incredible potential here with the Hierophant. And you will know what this is because it just feels really good, really effortless. Page of Cups in reverse, and this is what I mean. The other people interested in you, fighting, you know, fighting against each other to be with you, you're not even interested in speaking to them. In fact, you might have messages coming through that you're just not opening or that you read and you forget about. There's one real standout person here. We have uh, Strength, Leo energy. 
the chariot cancer okay this person's going to make you feel like a priority um you're going to be the only one they want there are no other options here and this person is driven they're serious they know what they want with you it doesn't take them long to figure out that they are serious about you and they will let you know well this is someone quite um, well manifested as well so successful in whatever that means you know to them to you and the five of pentacles oh i wonder they could be fresh out of um a serious commitment so maybe that's why they're taking things slow to begin with and perhaps that's why it might begin as a friendship because you might not be looking at this person as um a potential partner because perhaps you know they've recently divorced or separated or something like that so um you you're aware that they're going through healing or something like that but the feelings develop anyway But there are no secrets here. There's no sort of like sneaky third party situation or anything like that. If this person was in a long term commitment, it's definitely over before you start to become um, close. Let's have a look at this five of wands. I'm kind of curious. Who are these people? They're so busy fighting with one another that they've not even realised that they don't have your attention. Um... <laughs> They're fighting over you and you're not even there. Let's see. These, I mean, maybe these are people in the past or just a person in the past you were dealing with who took too long or messed you about, thought you'd always be there. You know, they've turned around to pay you some attention and you've gone, you found someone who's treating you better. The Hermit in the reverse. Yeah, it could be someone who really took their time to step up so long, in fact, that you've, you've, you know, long since moved on. You no longer consider them as an option. The Tower in reverse. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, looks to me like these are some people or it's someone who now wants to step up and now wants to put in the work. But what I can see is this person or these people let your connection fall apart so much that it's pretty much over. If it, if you know, if we're talking about like um, some stitching, there's one tiny stitch left, and they're hoping they can bring you know the rest of it back together. But I don't think you're interested. We have Virgo, Scorpio energy here. Yeah, now they want to put in all the work with the Eight of Pentacles. But um, you have something that just feels so fresh, so lovely, genuine. I don't think you're even noticing. If this person shows up and they start trying to be there to, to put, you know, to, to give you time, attention, effort, you're not even going to see. Okay, let's have a look at this Hierophant Five of Pentacles and see, are there any red flags? I don't feel it, but let's see. Okay, so the cards that I can see on the top, oh, okay, we have a sneaky one at the back. So we've got five of cups. So yes, this person has gone through a recent loss. Page of wands, they're looking forward to starting a new journey. And we have the nine of cups in reverse. So that yeah, they, they you know, they were doing something. It doesn't even have to be a relationship. It could be something to do with work, um, something to do with something legal or whatever. Um, it didn't work out how they wanted it was disappointing but they pick themselves up and they're ready to move on so if you know that this person has been through something and you're a bit nervous you know you're not sure what sort of shape they're in you definitely don't want to be a rebound obviously um take it slow and give yourself time to figure out but i just i just feel their their intentions are really solid really genuine it's a meeting of the minds, a meeting of the heart, a meeting of the soul, and maybe neither of you were even um, 
you know, looking for this. It just sort of happens naturally. Okay, so let's get some cards to have a look at some traits or some things about this new person. We have, oh, struggling financially. Yes, and we do have the five of coins. So some of them, maybe they have just lost a job with the Hierophant and five of coins. And now they're, you know, starting out doing something new. So maybe that, again, is why they don't have or want to offer too much too quickly because they've got to rebuild themselves, rebuild a foundation here. But, you know, no worries, they will, they can. This is an incredibly... Um, and it's an energy of success and someone who is so determined that they will be successful because they're going to push through any obstacles. <clears throat> we have non-smoker, so I guess they don't smoke. <laughs> also, you know, this can talk about someone who doesn't want drama. They're not going to sort of like, you know, if there's any smoke, they're not going to fan it into the air and expand it and make it worse. And they're very clear with you as well. Clear talking, you know where you stand, you know how they feel. There's no reason for them to hide or pretend anything. And we have employed. So, like I said, if they don't have a job currently or if they've lost a job, they will have one soon. This isn't someone who's coming in and expecting you to take care of them. We have drugs. Interesting. Tell us more. Yeah, okay, this makes sense. Emotional and or psychological impairment so um if they have been struggling that five of cups energy we saw there's definitely something here about a bit of self-pity you know not necessarily you know actually doing sort of hardcore drugs or anything like that but something to numb um and this is why i'm saying give it some time let it build slowly just in case they are still going through healing but i do feel i just feel this most of this is out of the way by the time that you meet or by the time that things pick up between you we have lives alone and we have resurrection so uh, for some of you, yes, this is someone you've known for a long time, maybe since childhood, and um, your your connection is taking on a new form. For others of you, this could almost be, you know, like I said, a past life connection, and it's resurrecting in this lifetime. Okay, so what's this about? Okay, traits and characteristics. We have active. We have charismatic, which makes sense with that chariot card. This is someone who, they don't sit around and wallow for long. They take action. They make things happen. We have judgmental. Okay, so they could be a bit judgmental. Um, or this person just knows their worth. They know what they want, what they don't want. They know what they like. They know what works for them. What I would say is this isn't going to be too problematic because I feel that, that whatever they... Um, think about things whatever it is you kind of share similar values and beliefs so if they have a particular judgment or feeling about something you're probably in agreement with them so it doesn't have to be that you're both judgmental or anything like that but let's say they make a judgment that um i don't know all humans should be treated well you know you agree that kind of thing Maybe they make a judgment that they can't stand cheese, and you agree. It you know it doesn't have to be something super serious. Okay, mentally, emotionally unstable. These cards. Every time I get you know these cards out, these two come out crazy. So yeah, I'm not going to repeat that message, but just sort of take it slow. Give yourself time to figure them out, figure this connection out, see where they are. We have practical, so someone who is hands on. confident they're definitely confident in um, pursuing you we have independent yeah like I said they're not going to be looking for you to take care of them highly sexual surprise surprise we, we know about this card in my readings and anything else let's have this one Ooh, charming very nice I mean you can see active charismatic confident practical charming 
this is someone who is going to have an interest in you and they're going to come forward and let you know they're not going to be shy or or anything like that you know shy about their feelings or insecure or intimidated um or you know they're just not going to play games on the back we have sarcastic and what i got from looking at this first of all was like a sarcastic dry sense of humor that you might find very funny okay so i think that's everything for today so i'll leave it here i hope this was interesting or fun or helpful um, thank you for watching. I will be back tomorrow to do um, the what's hidden video, anything you need to know about a connection that you, that you have in mind. So take care and uh, speak then. Bye.